When we refer to practical life, we basically mean education of the living skill. Education of the living skill is very important for the total development of the children. Montessori education is very different than that of a conventional classroom, where one can expect to find a teacher standing in front of the whiteboard and students sitting in rows and are prohibited from moving around. In a Montessori classroom, children are first greeted by this beautiful material especially selected to meet their growing developmental needs. In a preschool class, you will find many kitchen utensils like bowls, spoons, sponge, funnel, and so forth. In a primary or elementary class, you will expect to find more challenging activity like sewing of a button, caring for pet, polishing brass, and more. The practical life activity also includes learning how to dress, how to brush teeth, sweeping the floor, sanitizing the toy, preparing and serving food. Of course, much more than that. One may ask, why is spooning beans from one bowl to another or pouring water using funnel or sorting using tongs so important and why such activity matters so much in education? Science has long proven that active learning is most important for children. They are constantly moving around, manipulating various objects, solving problems, curiously inquisitive, socially too, they are very aware of those around them, and learning to collaborate in many occasions. The classroom is always bustling with kids doing this or that. This is what we call a learning community. The practical life activity helps students to be independent, more aware of their environment as well as the other people around them. Children develop important social etiquette and also a dexterity in doing various things. It is not uncommon to find our students extending this skill to their home. At home, they are actively participating in washing their own clothes, uh, wash dishes, and even some may be cooking. We know that these mentally and physically alert children are most likely to succeed in school and in life. What can we do to help? My advice would be to do nothing. Montessori said this, never help a child with a task in which he feels he can succeed. It basically means do not do for the child what they can do for themselves. For example, too often, we find parents putting on the shoe for their children as though their children are without hands. Show your kids how to put on shoe themselves. Do not put on shoe for your children. Let them practice. It's okay if they fail one or twice. They can do it. Trust me, parents, your kids are smart and they can totally do that putting on shoes by themselves. Not only they are happier, but it also makes them more alert. If they can put on the shoe all by themselves, they can also do dress up by all that by themselves, wipe the table, uh, wash the dishes all by themselves. The problem is rarely the children, but parents who end up doing too much for their children, when we do too much, we are retarding them. Montessori teachers are trained to build a learning environment based on the interests of the children. They do not do for the children, but provide environment where the children can do things for themselves and do it successfully. You can also do likewise at home. So come and join us 
look out for more session like this where we will teach you how to implement Montessori uh, education and learning and hopefully you can uh, implement some of this at home.